Bill Gates, 666, etc. And for some reason, this is absolutely real. Here we go. Publication date, 2020, March 26th. Publication number is WO2020. So it's after the publication date, probably. 060606, which is a sequence number. Do you believe or do you not believe that this is somebody messing with your head by having this be some sort of, how shall we say this, a selected number not arbitrarily assigned? And by the way, 60,606, you know, the number of patents in this particular officer, in this particular genre, or in this particular year, is the number 666. So I guess that is just a little detail, you know, being off by a factor of 10 to 1 or something. Here we go. Now, I mean, really, what the hell are you talking about? Next, um, international application number. Well, the, the, the filing date was 2019, according to this. And it was um, June 20th. And then here we have a PCT US 2019. Wait a minute. And then it's a 038084. And a bunch of other numbers. Microsoft Technology Licensing. And then what I did is I looked up the actual inventors, the people who actually did it. Just because they work at a company doesn't mean it's Bill Gates. But hey, we can make it that way. Priority date. Here's the number, 16, and then 138518, and then this number, 2018, September 21st. So it's got nothing to do with COVID-19, number one. Number two, it has nothing to do with anything you were thinking of. Number three, gee, if it had this date in 2018, and this date in 2019, and this date in 2020, that's kind of like saying somebody planned something all the way back in 2018, to cause something to happen to 2020, so you could have your little meme of 060606, the, the next door neighbor mathematician of the beast. So let's go on with it. The actual patent information on Justia might be informative. Let's go all the way to the top. September 21st, 2018, Microsoft. Yeah, the publish date is uh, right there, right? Well, that's a sequence number. It might actually not be that eight, but we can go for it. Let's go for it. <clears throat> now we can go through here and you can look at it and it's got all sorts of stuff in it. I'm gonna read none of it. Why? You have to actually show me that the reason you freaked out on this, besides it being associated with a company that technically Bill Gates doesn't really run their company anymore, but okay. You have to show me in here what this is doing that's bad. Publication number in the United States, a.k.a. its basic patent number-ish, is 2020-0097951. You can find it that way faster. Publication date was March 26, 2020. Filed September 21, 2018. That's it. This was filed here before it became published internationally, right? Well, we don't know. There's that number there, the application number, which is application number 16 out of lot number whatever. Okay? And there again, there's the company, people who did it. These are the actual inventors, the people who are responsible for what it contains. And a couple of them state that they work at Microsoft Corporation. There's a couple of LinkedIn pages. So let's look at that number. I, I'm going to pull a rabbit out of my hat. Let me look up this number here. I'm pretty sure it won't go anywhere. I mean, it's not like it should go anywhere. Oh, gee. Free patents online. Derek, to inventions. Patents and applications. Justia, that's how I found them. Flickr, dog, people, dog, waiting for, oh, whatever. Anyway, featured patent applications of the week, March 20 something something. Crypto, so let's look at that. Visual magic number. Published, E26, cryptocurrency. And then this goes into the obligo for this one. Names, application number, publication date, filing date was in 2018. You can download it, the full thing is a PDF. And then, <clears throat> here we go. The examiner was Calvin L. Hewitt, the second. 
Microsoft Technology Licensing Company in Redmond, Washington is in there. A cryptocurrency system comprising one or more processors, which could be something like a machine or persons, memory stored executable instructions that, and this is the other one of them. Now let's see here. Featured patent applications of the week, yada yada. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Edit. Find. I'm just doing it right here. I'm not even sure what I'll find. Discloses a cryptocurrency system that communicates with a user's device that monitors the user's body activity. If the user's body activity satisfies conditions set by the cryptocurrency system, then the user is awarded cryptocurrency. Now, I can think of all sorts of things because I'm a weirdo. The figure below illustrates this. Now, let's try this again. A cryptocurrency system that communicates with something that monitors what you're doing. You, you, you get awarded cryptocurrency uh, money if you do something. Hmm. You guys are thinking 666. I'm thinking cam girls with uh, <clears throat> cryptocurrency enabled body monitoring devices or maybe relaxation equipment. So anyway, IBM pursues a patent and method performing in the, anyway, there's uh, there's your uh, linkage there. Just saying. So yeah, this is probably going to be used for cam girls um, making sure they get that bitcoin money that way you can tip them. So they say in an annoying voice, thank you. I can say uh, seriously, but your mind isn't as evil as mine. No, this isn't the 666 thing, and it has nothing to do with anything. And it accidentally getting a number that's not associated on, on anywhere here in the page, really, with 060606 is just an accident of the way the system worked in Europe. And again, this was started in 2018. They couldn't make that number come up. And it eventually has to come up. Statistically speaking, that number has to come up, or variations of it with sixes, someday. It's just simply all there is to it. Oh, my. So anyway, yeah, um... It's a user device that gives you money if you do certain um, body activities. So yeah, you can think what you want to, but um, I'm sorry, but I have a better imagination than you. Bye.